on the last episode of the Loaded Dice Rollers podcast. <laughs> the orcs will urinate on the butler. <laughs> Our five adventurers awoke at Rogard's Manor. Lady Lola. <laughs> <laughs> she, she hasn't been returned yet. Ooh. Is that something that the crow normally does? Uh, the crow, no, the crow does a lot different. of different things. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the crow. You put peanut butter on oh, it? so much to learn about <laughs> each other. Guys. And got a visit from the clockwork butler. There's a knock at the door. Please be on your best behavior. It seems they've done something to the wizard's crow familiar. Here's your crow, we fixed it. Uh, like, <laughs> oh, fixed no. it. <laughs> then, a date with destiny as the gnome Rogard appeared. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to my humble abode. And revealed a bigger problem. Did he just stop talking altogether? Is he like frozen or is he? Is his lips moving? Accident. A mistake. Re- I don't know if is, he's alive. So wait, is the is the is the gnome's lips moving, or is he just like frozen in place while this is happening? I get the cup and kind of throw it towards him. <laughs> but first, one in the group had to pass Rogard's test. You have sixty seconds. <laughs> That's Kurt on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> just stop, uh, I have to stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry. They had one thing going for them. Gia McLeod's never rolled so many ones. Oh, he fumbled. Oh. He fell. <laughs> oh. One. Oh my god. Yes. yes! I have rolled four fumbles. Wow. I'm in Fumble. Another one. Wow, That's this you guys tonight. love this dice. The half orc Orok finally got his time with the manor's clockwork butler. I do not have eyes like you. <laughs> no, and you won't. You're just murdering the butler? <laughs> you bleed. Where's the round of applause, <laughs> you everybody? Dead. Star for killing the star. Butler. Good <laughs> star. <laughs> While the other half orc showed her appreciation for the manor's owner in the form of cups. Oh Who's been throwing coffee cups at me? I raise my hands. Uh, I go look for another I, cup and cup. No, I, I, oh, I pass you one of the ales that I was talking about like, for winning. 19. Oh, you smash his head. He comes out. Damn it. By the way, she rolls really good on the cup rolls. Just the cup <laughs> rolls. Been, I have rolled two like, 19s like, it's and it's all, a it's 20. Like, the first one was a natural 20, yeah. then an 18, and a 19. It's Nothing's all that coffee shop experience. It was fantastic. Just cups at people. I'm really good at throwing cups at people. Tonight, the group will leave Rogard's Manor in Ustalav, head north to the realms of the Mammoth Lords and into the Tusk Mountain Pass to find the trading town of Hillcross, tucked beneath the Tusk Mountains. Spence, I whisper in Alolo's ear mm-hmm. to, <laughs> to, to tell. I saw her react to that. That was rather <laughs> visceral. <laughs> Here. Lola might just be a magical bird, but I like to give her my magic word on my Lola. This is the Loaded Dice Rollers podcast. Nice. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Tom, what did you think that of that? That is amazing. I Maybe. think that was And even all if they I don't, they're going to stick around to figure <laughs> oh, it out. And we should say Val is in right tonight. Yes. Is she's Seven in tonight. In. She's in tonight with uh, substituting for, for Mel. character, yeah. Viv, yeah. Viv, and you've been well um, trained in the way Viv is. She's a pinch half work. Oh my gosh, okay. we have a caller. I'm not oh even no. kidding. Let's let's take the caller. Hello. This is Felix Ward Lovelace the third. I'm here to deliver your pizza and play some drums. We we call him Big Daddy. This is Big Daddy on the phone. Big Daddy. What's happening, Tom? How are you, brother? I am good, Big Daddy. How Will, you doing? Will I'm I'm trying I'm to decide good, if this is somebody friend. we actually like know or well, like if is, is this, like like a what do you call it? Like a fake name or like a, a ghost writer or anything like that? This is not Steve Wynn. Oh okay. Uh, Never but mind. But if it were Kurt, would no, have... you, def- you definitely don't know me. I live in Virginia Beach, and I have no. no you're kidding me. Credit. Wait, are you Will's, serious? No Will's from Virginia. Yeah, Beach. I'm from Williamsburg. Wow, Big Daddy's a comedian. Oh. Can you give us your best road joke? The one that works on all the girls. <laughs> all the go. girls? Yeah. Oh, Viv is. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we, we go. Val's here. Well, I guess it depends, man. I mean, am I trying to pick up a girl or am I trying to just get a laugh? <laughs> Just, Why can't it be both, Big Daddy? Why can't it be is that, both? Is it you can combine the two? <laughs> I think I think that's Well if I'm wow. if I'm trying to pick up a girl uh-huh. and, and this is gonna be really cheesy, I'll just say what did the potato chip say to the battery? What? I'm free to lay if you're ever ready. Oh god. Oh, god. That, uh. that is 
And Big That's Daddy, good. we love you, man. Thanks for calling in. I'm sorry to cut I'm it so, short. Someone recording Val's face right now. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. I will put some clothes on now. Okay. <laughs> nice job, Daddy. All right, buddy. Good it's visual. great talking to you, man. We miss you. Love wow, you much. Love you, guys. Love you, Big Daddy. All right, talk yeah, to you soon, good. dude. So anyway, uh, tonight. Tonight. <laughs> Let, let's get to uh, the tonight. point. So you guys left Rogard's Manor. They stacked you up with horses. Kurt, you're out about, what, 20 feet yeah, on the, on the grid? Scouting ahead. And this is going to be a consistent thing on your journey yes. to Hillcross. So you're leaving. You, you guys, for the first time, many of you are leaving Ustalav, you know, their, their home country, to go up a little north to the, the uh, realm of the Mammoth Lords. And this is an area that, to be quite frank, you probably wouldn't want to journey to otherwise, right? A question for Uncle Walrus. Is it this, we're heading in the direction of the scarred world, right? No, it's, no. it's actually, yeah, th- that is on to one side north, of the... To yeah. the north. Uh, we're the like heading west, the north, of the west yeah. kind of thing. And almost to Ice Stair. And the great thing about Hillcross, the town you're going to that you were instructed to go to by the gnome Rogard to basically save time, I guess. Is that what he said? What did, anybody? Uh, well, he wants us to travel to Hillcross and then um, seek out a lady at uh, the Great Tusk Tavern there. That's Ooh. right. Yes. Love Thank that. God someone was there. Good attention. notes, Tom. Right. Good notes. Nicely done. Thanks Love for paying attention. Tavern. And from there, if we can persuade Zara, she's going to take us to Belmar's Keep. Ooh, that sounds like something in 11 Diplomacy would probably help. With. I think that might <laughs> help. Just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Expert! We, we, just, a, we just leveled up, and uh, this guy... Oh, John Plus eleven. To my left is like a Ninja. master statesman right now. Wow! I have impressive performance. Oh, hey! So while it's going I'm on, I heard and, that. And I think I, you know, not to put this in your mind, but the way the performance goes, especially in the Lord of the Mammoth realm, uh, in this realm that you're headed to, it's very barbaric. Actually, half orcs are more embraced as orcs, uh, less human, more orky. Is that, a, is that an orky? Not really. I'm more orky. It's not really a thing, but okay. But, but Only for humans. Your impressive performance is chopping trees. <laughs> That's my performance? Yeah, you That's get in there. That's how I seduce somebody? You do. Like, she you was, get in there and you... Would you like to see me chop a tree? Yeah, she was just, actually nationally ranked. Wow, that that's, Im- that's impressive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa! So you're on your journey, and you ride right next to uh, the mountain chain, and when you're doing that, you're having to really scout and pay attention. And at night, it's pretty terrifying. You got to protect the horses, uh, mainly because they're meat, uh, you know, and uh, and even from your own. Yeah, ha- I was going to say, I was, I was casting a side eye over Excuse this me. guy. <laughs> and Spence, remember we have Lady Lola that's flying above. Oh, that's right. Our Silver Raven. How yeah. could we forget? Right. Lady and Lola. so Lola is uh, really our scout. You know, right. and, and taking care of uh, watching. Now, you might want to be careful of that because there are creatures that fly. And well, if they're not Lola's. Metal. But if they're not, they yeah. don't like robot birds. <laughs> but <laughs> robot if, birds do not taste good. <laughs> if Lola's flying, Lola's the wizard who is Tom's playing, uh, Thurman. Thurman? Thurman. Thurman. Tyron. Thurms? Thurman Tyron. Thurman. Thurms. Thurms. We'll call them thermal nuclear. Yeah. If like the bird that. is flying alone, and I've been in many situations, this is for the listeners, been in many situations where a familiar is kind of scouting for somebody and then gets attacked and is yeah. gone. I've seen Spencer kill a lot of birds. So you have to be really careful. <laughs> you got to be careful <laughs> with the bird flying overhead as <gasps> far as the scout. Wolf. So it's up to you. The bird's flying a little ahead of... You don't need him. You don't need no? him for us. I don't think so. No? Yeah. I, don't think, I think we'll be okay. okay. Then, I, we're then, better to take him on the ground. And she's on my shoulder. Yeah, and so uh, the the base of the Tusk Mountains, at least on the Ulustov side, carries a lot of like smoke. It's very smoky. It's very foggy. You're warned about all this, by the way, and you're warned about bandits and you're warned about other creatures, especially the lycanthrope population, as you leave. Oh, Ustalab. oh, great! <laughs> and uh, it's up to you, Jonathan, to roll a D100. We'd like to do this. Oh. This is uh, here we so, go. There's the audience. They love this. They love it. <laughs> you can clap louder than that. You can clap. That's a, All right, there blue, you go. blue or red, guys? Blue or red? I'll no, the uh, uh, do it of each if it's a D100, right? Uh, all right. Let's put the difference. Make it a purple. Here we go. It is Whoa. a 32. Okay, not bad. Okay, not we'll, too dangerous. We'll probably live. 
So it's Kurt, only four Kurt, werewolves. As you're, you know, and also this journey takes a little bit of time. But as you're going through the, the Tusk Mountains, the base of them, I should say, uh, you encounter, there's a guy standing in front. Ooh. He's down the path about 100 feet, and he's red. He's red? Like he's physically red or dressed in red? Like Santa? Red. Oh, he's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> he, should be, he should be forward. Thank you, Kurt. Drenched, but drenched in blood red or... He, he hisses. All good questions, guys. Mm. Yeah, well, oh. You know, he hisses at you guys like he's a, a massive red dragon, but he's not. Mm. He's actually quite small. Oh, he's just a little A.B. Kobo. <laughs> yes. That's what you think at first. probably more. He hisses at you and he says, this is not your path. I, are there any other? So this is this is not this is not. Uh, Please hygienic. don't default to like, immediate murder, Kurt. Please. <laughs> <laughs> are there, I'll show you in in this on this path that we've been traveling. Have we seen any bypasses or anything like that? Or is this this is the road? well the pipe bypass through the Tusk Mountain chain is where Hillcross is. There's about nine thousand residents in a basically nomadic tent city. Okay, that is Hillcross. It's one of the largest cities in the entire area. And it's not a capital or anything, but it's it. If you're going to find goods, which, by the way, I know you guys want to sell some things and you want to buy some things, probably like this is kind of the place to do it. But it's really barbaric. It's if, if anything I put in your mind, it's maybe Viking friendly. Okay. And now are we on the main path? Are we halfway there? Are we close? To- you're, you're on the first day. In the first day, so we're not near. You know, so, we're just in yeah. the two week mountains. journey. I think we're yeah, probably yeah. going to be in this road for at least a little while before so, but, we fork off. Right. So exactly. Okay. But um, I mean, we can. You fork off. Hey, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> the, in terms of tracking, we see that this is the path. Like, there's like a million footprints and horse, you know, hooves, like all the way along. Oh this yeah, path. this is the this main. Is, this is the main road. Like, yeah. the, he, this dude does not own this. So road. he's fronting, basically, is what he's we're saying front. here. He's fronting. Yep. All right. Well. Uh, but maybe there's uh, people on the flanks, so let's be well, careful. Well, could be one of Warren's kobolds, which means so there's a thousand of them. Let's yeah. roll. Exactly. Initiative. Okay. Mm. All right. That's you too. There we go. That's also you. Oh man, seventeen. Wow. Natural twenty. Oh, oh yeah, baby. What nice for Kurt? That's nice. The audience to applaud all that. Thank you. Thank you. I got 19. Whoa. Whoa. That's, that's, that's her first uh, initiative roll. 10. That's a 17 for JD. Wow. We are just thrilling them. We're adding uh, perception to these, right? Correct. Okay. Ten. Right? It's certainly not stealth, right? Because he was Oh, yeah. Up he's, on a he's out in the road. Yeah. Uh, so then I also have a 19. He has a crossbow and a dagger. What's he's a got- range on a crossbow? Anybody know off the top of their head? 120. 120? Okay. And we're probably like, you said he was like 100 feet ahead of Kurt? You've entered his range. Oh, oh did anybody he, jot down the order, by the he way? Said, yeah, he, says in common, he says in common, this is not your path. I don't think it's yours either, my friend. I mean, maybe we could possibly work something out where you could just step aside and we can get off your path as quickly as possible. How much? How much? Uh, oh, he, he had a twenty-seven, by the way. His on his on his initiative. initiative. Oh Damn. wow! 60. Uh, so tw- twenty-six. Put put a question mark on twenty-six, but his his is twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We're rolling initiative. Kurt's shot and these down right now. Sure. What'd you get, Anki Anki handlebars? Uh, I got a seventeen. Uh. Is it your path, though? How much? How much what? How much? He doesn't speak a lot of common, but he does speak enough. Ah, uh, gotcha. Half orcs free. Oh. Are, I look over at right. Are you very, trying to buy my half orcs? Free. No, we're free. Oh. Oh, you get they get to go for free. Yeah, How let's much? Go. He points at you. How much for me or from me? Pass. How much? He's asking for the oh, toll. Oh, he's asking for a, a, he's trying to negotiate a toll, I think, from us. Yeah. How about a bag of shinies? I'll give you a bag of shinies. Shiny. Shiny coins, yes? How much? Nine. Gold. 
Nine coins. <laughs> Gold. Coins. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Three. Gold. Three coins? Three. Sure. Gold. Coins, yes. We'll give you three coins. Yes. 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 All right, so I'll turn around and put three copper pieces in a belt pouch that I've got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do, oh, do, do a check. Here we go. <laughs> what check would you like me to do? I think it's a bluff check, yeah? Dece- How about a deception? diplomacy check? De- deception. Or deception. Deception. Ah, deception's a thing oh, in this. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Val is like, what did you get into, Would Val? anyone like to He's aid me in this? Those coins. He's going to lose those coins. Oh, it's just three copper pieces. I'm more concerned about the belt pouch than anything. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm rolling this not not too terribly at a plus four. Fine. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a 15. Oh. All right. Here you go, little guy. Here's your three coins in a bag. Yes. Did you get up to him? Oh, wait, oh, wait. We need to move. Well, let's assume that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm Are you, like, holding him. it out to him or something like that. He went all the way down there? No, no, just, no another no, little guy pops out. Oh, oh and he okay. takes the chest. <laughs> He's like he right there. He, he takes the bag and he, he opens it up. And he looks at it. And he shakes it. A couple times. And he goes, Achtung. What, what uh, language? If what language? Speak, and, it, and you guys do a great perception check. Perception. Okay. What language? And if that, that happens to be draconic, I think I speak it actually. You do. Oh, I do. Yeah. I'd like to know what he says. He says it's copper. Natural nineteen. Damn it. Twenty-eight. I got uh, a twenty-eight too. Yeah, I got a. I got a twenty-eight as well. But you, you do see. Uh, oh God. Ooh boy. Tons of these rats. For those, for anybody who is not getting the visual right now, he is stacking a figurative ton. Of minis on the surrounding like heights of heights of the of yeah invaders. Oh, there's quite a bit. There's quite a few of them. Is there a word for a group of, of for a group of grumbles? Um, like I remember, I remember learning recently that a group of pugs is called like a grumble. Well, a group of gander what, ravens a is called a murder. Oh. So Whoa. A, a murder of kobolds. Sure. In a spirit of fairness, Spence, I don't speak draconic. Actually, does anybody oh, okay. speak draconic? No. So you don't really recognize no. what he says, but Does you do notice agitated? a lot of the trees and bushes uh-huh. that you thought were trees and bushes. Oh, God. Move slightly. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And you hear the lead guys. He's still 100 feet away from you in the front. He goes, not right. I gave you three coins. Not right. I look, I look over at, I look over at uh, Uncle Walrus and I say, is if they want three gold, we can probably do a lot worse. Let's just give them the three gold and get out of here. I've lost count of how many kobolds I've seen on these ridges. It's true. I'm, I'm just thinking about what we might need for the road ahead, but this is probably a fight we don't want to take. So I'll put my hands up and say, my mistake, my mistake. You want gold? <laughs> gold <laughs> coins, yes? Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can reach into my... Why don't we all chip in together, friends? All right. That's fair. I, I toss... I'll, I'll blow a gold. I toss a gold Let's over to... Let's pay for the waters. humans. Here's a gold. No, you guys are free. Yeah, free. No, you guys are free. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, for whatever reason, the half-orcs the are free. I wouldn't pay, pay even if I wasn't free. Half-orcs are free. It's kind of messed up, but... Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Cornholio. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cobaldio. <laughs> All right, so they screw you out of three gold pieces. Who's paying? I, I tossed one. one. Two, yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The humans. We all pay. Okay, very good. The humans should pay. There goes the money. Need to make that sound effect louder. Okay, racists, it's fine. We're paying our golds. Um, as you guys start to pass, they say... Three more. Three. Oh. Where, where are they? Wait, we have to move. They did a perception check. Oh, uh, they saw... That the gold came from rich pockets. Uh, All right, rich. I mean, I'm like, oh, yeah, we've been like, able to advance at all. All right, in this case, I'd like to be as forceful as possible and stare at him. Mm -hmm. 
and say a silent prayer. Maybe Viv just chops a tree down. Can Let's I, see what happens. Isn't that a performance? Let's do your impressive performance, see if you can add to the value. You know what? Go yes. ahead and roll a 20. How about that? I'll say, you see what my friend's doing over here right now? Yeah. Viv, show him what you can do. There are yeah. a, lot of, a lot of trees. Anyway, roll a 20 and add your bonus. Okay. Your performance bonus of chopping trees. See? <laughs> Okay, so 19. Whoa, they are ever impressed by your performance. And they say, one more. One more. Peace. Oh. I, for one more I look over. I, I, before, before Uncle Walrus can say anything, I just dig the other gold piece out of my pocket and toss it over to him. Because I, I, just, <laughs> I, want, I want this to be yeah. done with. This is no. extortion, my friend. No, you, know what, I, you know how much dwarven ale I could have bought you? I catch it. I catch it in the air before I could get to him, and I walk it over to him, and I intimidate him, and just growl at the at the at that one. You just go over and growl I, at I him. I intimidate him. Yeah. Okay. Good call. So you do that. Good call. I'd like to aid him by staring at him. I have a good intimidation action. That's a twenty-two. Wow. <laughs> so it is official. Uh, 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 uh. You. You're gold. All of it? They allow you to pass. Mm. No, Yay. not all of it. Just the, the uh, one good. extra. I made one gold piece. That's awesome. Half human, half orc. A hawk. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what? And so you travel on. For, <laughs> you travel on for another day. And you camp mm-hmm. out at night, and then Great you travel work. for another day. And in doing so, will will make Val roll a d100. I will, I will make Val roll a D100. How and, does that work out? And for, for those listening, we really, uh, you know, GM McLeod's. Let's talk about me in third person. Uh, <laughs> I love the randomness encounter. Like, if you roll, you're traveling and you're playing this game, you're on the chart because this is dangerous turf and it's unknown turf at the best. So you're going to be rolling for sure. So, Val, go ahead and give us that 100. Okay. She rolled a wow, five. I wrote a f- she rolled, rolled a, a five. five. That's not what I was expecting. You uh, you get interrupted by a fox sniffing Aww. in your rations in the morning. Aww. And as a matter of fact, it's I eating, kill it. it's hey, eating hey, half hey, of your right. rations. Wait, it's, it's eating it's half, half of her rations. Oh, wow. Bloody. So it's been engorging itself on <laughs> rations. Yeah. And Adios, Fox. Now that's half your rations, so you're going to be a little hungry today, which means Val, you're going to your Viv is going to be pissed for most of the day. But she is hangry. If I could describe the half orc as something while Mel's not here, it would be hangry. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. She needs a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Snickers and, is not enough. Don't uh, rage when you can have a Snickers. <laughs> that is very true. Let's let's see what that says. <laughs> Look. Nice. That's <laughs> so you wake up and you travel an entire day. You got you guys have to understand this is the biggest journey you've been up to in a long time. Mm. Tusk Mountains are beautiful once you get a glimpse in the mid afternoon when the sun is available from like two to three and then it goes dark around four. Uh, it's just gorgeous. And as you're going, occasionally you see images, perhaps shadows. The half orcs especially like to point out like creatures that they think they see and you'll look up and they'll be gone and it's it's a very mysterious place so far no lycanthrope population so far so good problem yeah (laughs) not a problem for no 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 lycans no problem okay sure our oh v is our audience is handing them out thank you v remind us uh if that is uh if we need to do that you guys, thank you. We love McLeod Ale. And by the way, if you are in California, you're in uh, Los Angeles, you need to visit, especially Wednesday night, McLeod Ale. Just check it, them out online. It, it, it has been rated so. by Thrillist as like one of the best breweries in LA. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, even You got to do it. You got to yeah, come for the answer. podcast. Absolutely. Stay for the brews. There you go. Oh, I love that. That's our new tagline. There you there go. You That's go. the fellowship. Of something stupid. That's Ken made that. Stupid. Ken named that. Freaking that was great, right? <laughs> Love Ken. 
<laughs> All right, you guys. So uh, the next day, uh, congratulations on your role. That was amazing. Thank you. I, I feel like Tom has been sitting here all night not knowing what to do, and he just needs to pick up a 100 die and roll for the third day. And by the way, this is your last day of travel. We have sped oh, up wow. a whole week into three days of travel. <laughs> Let's hear what that random encounter roll was. This is music by Leaving Richmond. Sure is. Okay, here we go. Love these guys. You should look them up on Spotify, right? 72. Oh. Perfect. Ooh, that's My God. Pretty high, you son of a bitch. It's better than five. Just meaty enough to get us sweaty. <laughs> so on the third day... And you love to be sweaty, don't you? Of the week, we sped it up to three days because you guys have horses, evidently. You know. The, Hork uh, the, horses? The manor was nice, to, nice, nice enough to treat us to that. Can we be a little responsible for the map here? Sure. Yeah, and there are fallen over. trees. I love that tree that's fallen over. Can we take a picture? No, no, leave it. It's great. Because that's, yeah, that's that's the one I chopped down. That's that's that what's was like happening. A week ago. That was my performance. That's what's happening. Are we moving this around a little bit? Oh think, no! I think it's like well, a, whatever. It's like one of those old 1940s uh, movie backdrops where it's just like on a rolling like scroll. <laughs> they yeah. walked for five days. <laughs> five or six days. You guys are meandering your way to the Mammoth Lord Kingdom. It was your last day of the journey. Wait, Spencer. Yeah. I would say it's more of a saunter. <laughs> it was like a... Walk casual. It was a gallop? No, not Because really. of the caltrops? We're on a horse, oh, I thought. Remember how great caltrops were? And they're still great. Um, I, if anything, Pathfinder 2E has doubled down on caltrops. Really? I have, I have oh, so now you have some like bad, I bought some caltrops. Well, there's like a badass version of caltrops, oh, yeah? and there's a spell, too. They're pretty gnarly in this, yes. I love that. Thing. Everybody oh. loves them cow drops. Well, we're loving 2E so far, and thank you, Paizo, for stepping in and sponsoring Woo! us and helping us out on your social channels. Pretty cool, right? Very They're cool. They're blasting us Paizo. to 800,000 people. They're just saying, hey, uh, we love these guys. Isn't that cool? Nice. Nice. Thank you, Paizo. Thank you, Paizo. <laughs> that was uh, from the Dwizard. Thurman, thank you, can, Paizo. Can we talk to the, the Dwizard for a second? Sure. Why? Why? Sounds like Batman. Why is the wizard so? Uh, <laughs> does sound a little like Batman. He's had a tough life, why? guys. <laughs> He's had a tough life. Why does he? He sounds so. Uh, I don't know. In a corner. I, what? What is? What's the? What's the deal with him? I'm headed back home, and I don't know what to expect. Actually, kind of going away from home at this point. No, I'm headed back home. Oh, in my brain. I see. <laughs> Even though it's the other answer. direction. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's not leading the group. <laughs> oh, who's the wizard? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Thank you for that. And so uh, that was that was good. That was good. We got some information. But you guys are going on your your journey, and we had the wizard roll his master. I, what would you call yourself as a player? You were playing a character. So who are you? The player. You're the player. Yeah. Right. That's so yeah. So you, the player, rolled a 79. Player 70, rolled a 72. 72, Spencer. Let's not go crazy. Uh, wait a minute. That might change the chart. DM. Oh, I'm He's sure it does. Right. Watch it be like 79 was we encountered this pile of gold, and now we're just like in the... A, a unicorn yeah. with full of, like, full of gold? Exactly. You guys did thwart a lot of kobolds. Pretty impressive. Without uh, spilling any blood. Thank you, orcs. Hey, yeah. orcs. Tom, please make a... Since you rolled it, please make a... Uh, I use my social check, skills. Right? To be you fair, did. he did. Yeah, uh, quite well, actually. Yeah, <laughs> quite well. I like this 15. music. Leaving Richmond. Fifteen. Yeah, yeah, baby. A fifteen. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm gonna roll against that. And I rolled an eighty. I rolled a two. Oh, oh but, it's, hey. but it's plus eighteen. Oh, so hundred. What'd you roll? Uh, uh <laughs> not a, not that. Uh, fifteen. Okay, you don't see it. So it's a Plus 20. 18. Yep. This is pretty deadly. I got to be honest. I'm, I'm ahead. Why would I not do perception? What time of day is it? I mean, is it it's still Ooh, that's out? a good idea. Let's roll for that. Ooh, it's 12. Noon? Midnight? Noon or midnight? Yeah. There's a big difference. <laughs> Which 12, Spencer? That's my bedtime. <laughs> it's noon. Oh, nooner. It's high noon. Afternoon delight. Tom, from your side, the wizard is... This is the way you guys are rolling. We, we have a map, and this is the way you are. Yeah, That's Kurt's, pretty Kurt's much. been taking point. Here, Here comes Kurt, the Dwizzard. Kurt walks past, and the Dwizzard 
He's going to roll for hit. Now, hold Everybody on. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, damn. Here we go. Spencer's Lola get her, um, a check <laughs> from Got my... One. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. This thing hit pretty well, by the way. It held it at 20. Oh, you, damn. I got a 22. Your perception is your bird's perception. Okay. That's fair. 22. But yes, you should always have me do that. Okay. We're at 24. So, I rolled a one. Add your perception. And then add it. So Because it's stealth. So, nine then. Nine. 27 for the wizard. Yeah. See, I also rolled a one, but I only have a plus seven of my perception, so I got an eight. <laughs> I'm Shit. getting killed by something unseen, but my bird didn't help me even though her senses are keen. <laughs> oh, my Lola. Pretty good. We're going to have to make it. Lola, Lola, You got it. They like that. <laughs> I, I think they like the, they want to hear the compilation. Hopefully we're going to uh, Don't worry. <laughs> so I, take, I got a few up my sleeve. Nice. I'd say we should take the <laughs> show on the road, but we're technically already there. So, that's, that's so true. where are you, Spence? Uh, an issue. 20, 22? 20, you said 24. 24. In the thank, of you. thank you. Uh, I was a 22. Thank you very much. And, and you guys are rolling through this kind of, you know, forest at the base of the Tusk Mount, <laughs> Mountains. And there's a, there's a road you're going down, and we're changing it on the, the grid. And. Uh, you know, since I had Tom roll this roll, I feel like the attack always comes at the person rolling the <laughs> Christ, the random encounter. So it's going to be from like <laughs> that, off that, of our flank. That seems that seems fair. So, what was, and arbitrary. what was your initiative? What was your initiative? Twenty seven. Oh, oh wow. Oh okay. So you see uh, a tree that's not a tree, but it's just kind of this mound of I don't know a mountain tree. It's it looks like brush and maybe some. Lichen on it. Oh, oh! Would so you like say a, it's shambling? Yes. Oh, it's shambling. Oh uh, man, everybody knows shambling. what that means. Oh. Wait, what's the shambling? I have no idea. Please. Explain. What in the world is that? You've won a shambling uh, mound. I just put a. <laughs> come on down. <laughs> come on down to uh, the shambling mound. It's true, uh, Tom. It's like an angry rug. <laughs> it's an angry rug, an and angry, it comes to life. And you rug. see it. What do you do? You have, right, so, how far uh, in front God, of us so many is jokes. family mound? It's <laughs> right behind jokes. you. So it's within, they waited for you within to, thirty feet or fifteen feet, right oh, behind me, right? Five feet. Five feet. Awesome. To reach is ten. <laughs> Great. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to use burning hands on it. Oh, light that bush on fire, baby. Uh-oh. There you go. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. burn, baby, burn. burn. So they have to make, it's a DC 19 check that they have to make uh-huh. against basic reflex. Is there a saving throw? Mm. So it's plus 11. 11 plus 11, 22. Awesome. What was, what was the save? Uh, it was a 19, so it does not do anything. Okay. Like, Oof. Ouch. 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 Okay. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Oh, it's its whoa, turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. sorry. Oh. Criti- well, it's not a critical what failure. Creature takes... No, it succeeded, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But it was not a critical success. Oh, that we have an audience member. So it takes half damage then. All right, good. Thank you, audience mm. member. Fortunately, we hey! have damage. Hey! My ass. Yeah. And is that fire? fire it damage? is fire damage. All right, do your damage. So it would be yeah. 2d6, a 1d6 plus... He's five resistant. Oh, that's... Wait, he is fire resistant? It's not cool that people laugh. <laughs> <Good Lord. laughs> well, that, that's just mean, audience. Mm. That's just... I think we're in trouble. So I just kind of, yeah, I touch it and nothing happens. Oh God. It's fire resistant. It's just fire resistant. Wait, was there more? F-I-V-E much- or F-I-R-E? Fire. Damage? Fire resistant. Yeah. Okay. How much damage did you do? Oh, my God. That was a missed opportunity right it, there. It was, and thank God everyone missed it. Took no damage. Eh, 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 eh. Uh. If it's almost a tree, can I chop this down too? Oh, hey. yeah. Oh, I think that's fair. Damage. It's Thurman's uh, go. She should have Thurman. bonuses. It's tree like. Thurman. Hey, yeah. No? Thurman. Thurman. Yeah, we're at top around again. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Sounds like that idea was trejected. It, oh. <laughs> wow. Magic missiles. That hurts. Sorry. Val, we're going to talk about these jokes after. Shoot the missiles. Magic missiles. Yep, and I'm going to use all three <laughs> turns on that. That is seven, uh, eight, nine plus eight. Wow. 17. 17. Okay. Can you nice. write that on the table? Yeah. Uh, I'm Thank sorry, you. plus nine. Wait, write 17 on the table? Plus nine. 18. Why plus nine? No, the, because that's what it was. So it's it's 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus nine. Is 18. 18 damage. Why is it plus nine? Per, because it's, three per it's, level? No, it's plus my bonus. So it's the magic missile damage. So you're level three? Plus, I'm level four. You're level four. So you should have at least two. So it should be plus two per level. It's, so you'd have six. I have a plus nine here because... Really? No, it's, yeah. Is that what it says? It's probably if because it's trained, of proficiency. It's, yeah. If it's trained, it's two wow. plus your level. Pathfinder 2E. Yeah. Really powerful stuff. Yeah. Wow. We be jamming. Instagram. Uh, <laughs> uh, and that happen? technically... Are we, are we, All right. And then it's question mark. mark. It's question mark. Oh, there's a question mark in this one. Great. Question Wasn't well, a question mark, mark the... Well, it's a shambling mouth. Yeah, it's a shambling. Yeah, it's a shambling man. It's oh, called, I think that's in two E. It's called a shambler. I think it's Uncle Walrus. Oh, it's called a shambler. Ooh. Yeah, Rambler what a shambler. sham! What a shambler! All right, and it does its attacks. Oh boy, you guys are not going to like this. No, oh. uh -oh. you're not going to like this at all. It backs up five feet. Okay, and Doop. it hits the wizard. Oh. oh, twelve plus seventeen. Hey. Nineteen for all you math aficionados out there. <laughs> and then for those playing the home game. And then he does his minus five with a vine lash. Oh, that's just his first attack. Ten. Christ. Minus uh, seven, twenty-seven minus five is twenty-two. 22. We'll do that on uh, the half orc Viv. Oh. Uh, uh -oh. Uh. You, do you know what your AC is? Yeah. Okay, and then the third attack, negative ten. He's plus 17, so he's only plus 7. Uh -huh. My AC is 19. Plus 16, so 23. Yeah, oh, who, yeah. You got who's the guy in the red cape? Uh, not me. That's Uncle Walrus. Okay, he tags Uncle Walrus at 23. Yeah, that hits. Oh, boy, you guys are in trouble. Dang, so the entire back oh. row just got... Everybody got tagged. Ugh. Dang. All right, here we go. It's 2d8s plus 8 bludgeoning plus a grab. Oh, fine lash. What? Oh, wait, I might actually have something. Seven plus eight. Fifteen on Tom. Fifteen points. And you're going to be grabbed. Viv? Yeah. Eight plus eight. Sixteen points of damage. Uncle Wall. How many people can he grab? He goes right after your, uh, his, your shambling mound. He, he goes right after the stash, which you know uh, is... Hi, my stash! Yeah, it's <laughs> super sensitive. Uh, Three he, plus eight. He grappled. So, he grappled your mustache. He only. He only got eleven points of damage uh, on, on oh, him. At, at hearts. But all of you have to survive a grab. So how's that working, Pathfinder Two E Spencer? Uh, we're well, going to check this out. Hold that thought real quick, because how do reactions work in Two E? Oh well, you just take a reaction after the attack. After the attack. Yeah. So after the attack, as in after well, his attack. But you have like to be a, attacked. Yeah. You have to be attacked. Unless Not it's a damage reduction. Step, I can liberate other people. Oh, man. Yeah, you do it during the attack. Stab. You do it during the attack. Wow. 28% uh, perception to see this guy. Wow, he was undetected. That's crazy. So I guess he just grabs you guys? Mm. Okay, so here's <laughs> there's here's no, there's no dare he. I agree against it. Well, so here's the thing: there's is like if they're all I, how many reactions are you allowed to do? One, just one. Yeah. Okay, so I can liberate one of you guys. Mm, I Liberation. Uh, well, let's see. We so we got Uncle Walrus, we've got Viv, and we've got uh, the Dwizzard Thurman. <laughs> all, yeah, all. Uh, grabbed at the moment, who's who's liable to do the most like immediate like melee damage or not not necessarily melee, but who can like knock this guy back for the most? So I've got time to work on the others. I have an axe. I'm pretty sure it's a gigantic half orc. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. That was my, my that was I didn't want to assume. I was just I wanted to leave it open. Ladies to discussion. first. Okay, so uh, with liberating step, which as a liberator I get as a reaction. Liberator! You free an ally from restraint. If the trigger was an ally taking damage, the ally gains resistance to all damage against the triggering damage equal to two plus your level. Oh, shit. Fellowship is something stupid. Nice job, Will. The ally can attempt to break free of effects, grabbing, restraining, immobilizing, or paralyzing them. They either attempt a new save against one such effect that allows a save, or attempt to escape from one effect as a free action. If they can move, ah, the ah, ah, step as a ah, 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 ah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can read the, cover all the details. They can read the core manual. <laughs> if you want, 
buy it at Paizo.com, right? Is that where you yeah. bought it? You bought it at Amazon. Paizo. No, I, I no, no, know Paizo you. Paizo furnished us though. I know, but you, yeah, that's where you would buy it as Amazon, probably. Oh yeah, the Pi, the Paizo core book for I, I, Pathfinder Two E. Sure, or if you want a good clean PDF, you go to Paizo.com. Yeah. Okay. And, and then so you just go yeah. right it's, to the makers. It's, it's bookmarked. Yep. And Very searchable. Good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice job. Thank you, Will, Absolutely. for being the research hound. And he's uh, book boy. <laughs> book boy. That's that was, right. That was his name so, from last time. Uh, you're all grabbed, and you free who? Uh, I free Viv. Nice. Yes. Hey, should we play her theme? Now I chopped down. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that guy really needs <laughs> auto tune. If you listen in the past, we need to <laughs> have chopped down yeah. noises. Hey, he, yeah. the fact that he put in the effort is much appreciated. I do like this person. He's somebody sent this in. I like this one. Foxy half orc. Right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that. That's better. Uh, nice. uh, Uncle, amazing. are you up? You're doing your thing. Well, I'm first. I have to make myself grappled. I'm gonna make myself. And grab them. Grab them. gonna chop down a shambling mound. Uh, uh, it, it's, a- it's grabs now in this, grabs, in this edition, grabs. right? Yep. It's, ooh. So I'm flat-footed and immobilized. Okay. Um, That's unfortunate. That's really. <laughs> whoa. More information I needed. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm grab. Grab. Okay. So I think though, while grab though, I can still cast spells. Correct. Yes. Yes. Well. I'd like to do that to this freaking jerk. Okay, so, what are you casting? So I, I'm able to squirm myself enough that I can grab a hold of my holy wooden holy symbol, uh-huh. pray to Phrasma, uh-huh. and turn that same hand around. And with my new ability, uh-huh. I have learned a cantrip from a class that I wouldn't normally be able to cast from. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I splash, this is big. splash a, gob, a glob of acid at him. Nice. Now, I do have to make a spell attack. Oh, is that like an upper bacterial infection it or is. something? <laughs> Take that. It's a mold. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I wouldn't normally do this, but I caught an infection from another class. <laughs> All right, if I... Freaking Leroy. By the way, Leroy needs to call in. Oh, oh yes. Right? Am I wrong about that? Right. Okay, so ooh, I'm pretty sure I hit... That's a 16 plus a 9. That's a 25, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. You hit him. Okay, so he's going to take... 1d6 damage. Oh, but there's more. What kind of damage? It's acid damage, but I'll tell you. So it's 1d6, which that's a 4, plus 1 acid splash damage for a 5, and... Oh, it's not a critical success. Uh, Well, what's his armor class? Eh? Is it 15? 22. Damn it. And I shouldn't tell you that. Just for you beginning DMs, never tell. No, we got to know in this for critical successes. Oh, I know. You're supposed to tell me, and then I tell you. Oh, yeah? You want to yeah. do all that math? Fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm the math Fine. guy. Fine. Right. Hey, write down the Fine. damage on the table. Uh, that was another five, right? That was another five. He's up to 23 damage, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I, and I have to sidebar here. Val, Kurt bought a $300 table for us to play on. Three. $300 table. It was, it was $300 it's for a table and $200 for shipping. Yeah, it was Wow. It, it was cheap. Wow. Where did you get it from? Shipping. Scandinavia? Yeah. It's Birch. It's literally one sheet. This is the largest. I feel bad. This is like the redwood being cut a whole down. Village, oh. A whole village wept when this table was made. Oh, That's right. They circled yeah. around it that and was... wept. Well, at least some D&D players will enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking our tree, our mother tree. <laughs> that will be $200 shipping. Uh, we've got Orox next in the order. All right. Oh, I'm not going to do anything we fancy. Know what this I'm guy's just going to run in and I'm going to hit Murder! Gonna run in and hit him. So you're running. What's your speed? Ah, 25. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll. Uh, Psionic damage. Wait, Sorry. what's your what's your range? My ears are bleeding. Uh, because he did five feet. Okay, because he said he stepped right the shambling mound, like stood step back five feet. It's a shambler. I yeah. can I can think I can hit. Kept him thinking I, I can point out to. Um, it's a know, shagger. Shambler. <laughs> it wouldn't be a defeat, but you could run. You could always run. Uh, no, I'd, ra- I'd rather rage. Ooh, see, that's rough when a DM sucks. Yeah, baby. Mm. All right, do I get uh, two attacks still, right? Because I use a move action first. That was one of your moves. You yeah. have three moves. I missed. Oh, how bad? Two. Oh, five. you fumbled. Wait, two plus whatever. What'd you do that with? Is. That was a club. Uh, that that was uh, no. I'm using a great axe now. But what happens is you go up to you've never quite seen or smelled anything like this before, and it's it's amazing for you. 
and it smells great. Everybody else, it smells very putrid. Mm. But when you swing at it, you just miss it. You hit dirt, and you're like, damn it. And so you go for your second hit. Uh, no, I missed with that. I, I rolled a five on the second one. Oh, man, you missed even worse. <laughs> so when that happens, Kurt, you dig a little ditch in front of you, making it difficult terrain to get to it because it's actually 10 feet in, nice. in reach. Perfect. Excellent. And Viv, your brother just went up to a shambling mound. You guys have never seen this before. Oh. It's a moving mound of shamble. Is that how you describe it, John? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a, those are the exact words that I would use. A moving mound of shamble. Shamble. <laughs> <laughs> so you probably swing at it. So, uh, yes. Or you could run. Or we could swing. Oh, that's a second nah, clue. Or like don't her. run. Lord, so Mel, I was born a shambling man. man. Mel, sorry you're listening. Uh, Viv goes in for the kill. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Of, yeah. Of, uh, of don't of look your, back, Ralph. So of I, your character. That, so I can use my orc neck splitter. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. So roll a d20. Nice name. Okay. So you can move one and then take two actions if you want. And we decided last week Viv's third action was not worth it because she kept fumbling. Ah. Uh, yeah, well, that was the thing. Is like because... That was what I figured was when they gave us the opportunity to, for three actions. Is like, you should you should like tuck and roll. Okay, a little so bit. I rolled a twelve on the d twenty plus eight. Okay, so missed. it was a t- so twenty unnatural. So this, if you want to attack a second time, you can, except you take a negative five. No, it's plus t- eight plus three, then negative two. So plus nine. Right, it's doing it for you. That's cool. Yeah. So just roll a twenty. I okay. actually, to be honest, I don't know if you want to make that second roll. I'm just going to be honest about it. You're probably going to miss. And Mel's going to be just want to move out of range. It's, angry. it's up to the GM to decide. Like you already have two fumbles mm-hmm. already. Like this is just going to add to the chaos. So can I run and like put up a shield? If you have a shield, I have a shield. Which, oh really? Then you can. That I takes will. an action amount to, to use it on your AC. Mm-hmm. Great job. Great. I have a wooden shield. Nice job. Better than nothing. I'm going to grab one of my javelins. And oh, we're throw back to it the at this guy. Back well, to the you know. Oh boy, I got him. St- st- stick him first, and then I can always bring slash out at you're him. dead. <laughs> All right, let's see. I toss a javelin at him. That is going to be a twenty-four. Yeah, baby. You hit him. Finally, you hit him. Stick that boosh <laughs> for four damage. Woo. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so. What I'm next going to do... By the way, I think most of these sound effects are made by Will. <laughs> ah, I'm not in the front line. That was last time. That was last when I think we were on that bridge real. with all the arrows. When did you get stabbed? Uh, I didn't get stabbed. I got shot a lot. A lot. He was a pincushion, basically. Oh. Yeah. I was better, working on my porky. By the way, you guys are riding horses, and you hope that the Shambling Mound doesn't start targeting them. Oh, yeah, well, I, so am I restrained on top of my horse? <laughs> you guys are all on top of your horses. Mm-hmm. So what is the movement of a horse? Can I move 25 and still have that third action? Ooh, that's a fair question. Uh, I'm going to move you as normal. It's going to be move action, and then you get your action. So you get three per round. Okay. If well, you're a cavalier or something else, it might, might mm-hmm. be different. Yep. Okay. Well, then I will, I, will step, I will step for five feet at least just to make it just so to uh, get out of that whip There range. go the horses, Jonathan. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. They take off. <laughs> Are we yeah. being drawn and quartered? Uh, and then at least you could eat them. Oh, God, this is such a brutal game. I am Tom? going to let's see, plus ten. What's the wizard doing? I'm, I'm gonna step. I guess again. I'm grappled, right? Oh, that well, you just grabbed, right? So I'm grabbed. So yeah. I'm conjuring an acid arrow in my hand and just jamming in. Oh, oh yeah. I love nice. that. Right into that's a the, touch, the creature. That's a ranged touch attack. So nice. you're going against a touch. It, it's, AC. Fortunately for the Shambling Mount, it's not wearing any armor. So its armor class is the exact same for both. And Will, did you do your, your thing? Uh, yeah, I just I just stepped back twice just to okay. get out of that whip. What I'm assuming is that whip range. 10 foot range. Yeah. Is so what good. you've seen so far. Yeah. Whip it good. So... <laughs> It may be more. So I have a 20. It was an unnatural 20, but... Okay. I don't know what it's... Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> all right, you missed. <laughs> Pretty sure it was a miss. Damn it. Well, oh, wait, was that all of his actions? Oh, that was, no. We're at the three. top around. Yeah. Right? One. Right. Are you that using a shield, by the way? That's one of your actions. I don't have a shield anymore. Right? Okay. It's low luck. Right, right, right. All right, the stupid uh, thing goes can, now. Hold on. No, no, oh, no, 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 no
I'm going to cast Magic Missile again. I'm using Drain Familiar, which is a uh, ability from, that from I have that allows me right. Right. No, I can. No, I can do it. Yeah, baby. From myself, so it's not from Lola. Nice. I don't even have to roll; it automatically hits. Yeah. Nice. This is gonna go on the table. Uh, two plus three, and actually, I, I have to admit, I screwed up earlier in my attack with my magic missiles. So we have to give the creature six hit points back. Oh no! Ah. That's what I thought. All right. It's, so it's I not, just did three damage. Because level there. five, you get the punch right, too, so I right? Just, so yeah. I just wanted to make up for my mistake. My mistake. I'm sorry. New oh, to two. I e. love that. New to two. That's e. that's a star. No, it's not a star. It's just me being <laughs> oh, honest. Oh, he's and refusing playing. your star. I'll, I'll, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Star. I'll take it. Honesty the is the, the best that's policy. Good. That's good sportsmanship. They love it. The star. Okay. Nice job, Tom. You're a shining star. No matter who you are. <laughs> So three damage this, <laughs> this turn, I just gave it. Give it three hit points back, and then we're even. So oh, three points. Okay, right, so, so that's 24. 24 points 24 of damage, damage. taken. Perfect. Out of 160. Yes. Okay. Yes. The, awesome. Right. The mound's turn. He did warn yeah, us to run twice now. Doesn't really so. care about your... <laughs> it's like, yay. Oh, you murdered one of my flowers. Okay. Oh, can't wait. wait. Can't wait to eat all of you. Oh, yeah. I love this. It has, re it has reactions. Oh. oh. The DM loves this. It's okay. dangerous. Uh, uh, it goes after three horses. Oof. You guys already grabbed. Oh, the ones that are already grabbed? Well, so Viv got no. uh, freed. Yes. Right. You so, freed Viv. Is my horse yeah. also free? I don't, well, if that even Your horse is free. Yeah. Your horse is freed. For sure. And it goes after your... It's called a shambler. Shambler. What a sham. Blur. Is that a bad joke? <laughs> People shouldn't laugh at that. Why? No, you got to tell it one more time, and then it'll be good. Sham blur. <laughs> God, it's awful. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing all the way to the grave. Well, I, and this whole time, I'm trying to find a statistic on a horse. Does anybody want to look that up? Yeah, It'd be uh, a horse. Oh, here it is. Horse. Here it is. Your horses have AC of 14 mm. and 16 hit points. Here, mm. they, here they go. So there three the hit points go. So it's got three of us. Does this thing have unlimited vines? It seems to have at least twenty three that you can see. My <laughs> God, Good Lord! Wow, that's a that's a very specific number. It's like all right, here it goes. Ready on oh three, three of the horses. Strategy there change. Goes. Strategy change. Oh, 16 plus. Yeah, twenty. What was the bonus? Oh, 17. 17 <laughs> plus seventeen. They don't. You don't need to 34. roll. It's a oh, 14 16, AC. 16 you have plus, plus 17. 17. You hit unless you oh, roll two. a one. That was on the third one. So two plus 17, 17 is 19. Minus 10. Oh, minus 10. Okay. Is uh, a nine. 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 It missed the horse. So the other two did take effect. Whose horses are these? Let's see. You entered, I guess. You got to roll. You can't just pick me. One. <laughs> <laughs> He's one, assigning two, three. you a number. So it's a uh, Viv... Orok and the cleric. One, two, I have three, a four, name. Five, six. <laughs> Here we go. I'm Uncle a Fester. Four. I'm a one, two, three, four. My name is Anakin. Oh, and the second line goes after one. Oh, yay! My horse uh, survived. Sorry, guys. So here, here goes on Viv's horse. Sorry, Viv, if you're listening. Oh. I know you chopped down trees, but here goes your horse. Probably, oh, 11 plus. Still standing. Maybe. Eight. Nope. A nine, oh. uh, what is it? Dead horse. A dead horse. Horse dies. Oh, Here goes see. Oroch's horse. Ten uh, plus. No, it's a minus eight, eighteen to hit, though, right? You, you, it's still no, up. He already it's, hit it. It's really messed up. It's the damage he's rolling. Not the oh, so yeah. Viv, your uh, your horse. Dover. Um, how yeah. how how how, how, how much damage uh, to my horse? Uh, the good 18, news is you get to eat. It's them. Uh, so, almost dead. That's good almost news. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's two of the horses. Oh. One of them goes down, and the other one is still up. Kurt, what it's a, what a right. UHC is turned. All right, um, can I hit him and then do a no, spell? You, no, it's uncle's. Oh, that's oh. it's UHC. That's Uncle Waters. Uh, Here's Waters. a question. The ground, Here's a question for you. If I'm able to heal that horse pretty quickly, I mean, does it follow the same rules as the PCs? No, no, it's dead. But the crow mm. <laughs> is flying around. Okay, well at least we got that. He's, he's perceiving things. All right. I feel Uncle, like it. Okay. You're rocking it. All right. Well, I mean, we haven't been hit yet. And the horse that uh, I, I, actually I'm going to heal Kurt's horse. I thought Kurt's horse died too. No. no. no it's, and it's grabbed, it's by just, the way. It's, it's really you're fucked good, up. You're, you're being entered into the shambling mound. It wants to eat 
you guys. Okay. Oh, it's pulling us in? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Which oh. you might have. Do you have any concentration spells? That's thank, freakish. Thank you for that. Uh, I, d I don't. Okay. Um, if you did, you'd have to make a little checky. No, luckily, don't have any of that. Okay. So, all right, cool. I love how the crows are. Hear the, the background? Haunted all right. Forest. So what I'll do is I'll try to keep that horse alive. Keep the horse alive. Do, do your right. thing. So I'm going to use a, a two action heal spell, which sounds, gives me a range of 30 feet. So sounds personal. There. Yep. All right, make your roll. And uh, then uh, Orok. And that's a 1d10, baby. 1D10. Your horse is severely injured. I know he's going to heal. You might that. have to hop off it and do an acrobatics check. So that's your first. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it depends on if he gets healed. You know, no, no, you never no. Know. Uh, no, you took a big hit. You're going to make an acrobatics check to stabilize yourself on the horse. Okay, the horse gets 11 hit points back. Okay, so now it has... Uh, all right, Kurt, you do your thing. There was an uh-uh for somebody. Acrobatics check, uh, 13. Plus? No, that's it. Total okay, so oh, wait, the general I, DC is 15. I haven't, I'm, that, that was just a two-action turn. I have one more thing okay, to do. Okay, keep going. I was just yeah, checking sorry. to see if Kurt could, So uh, is this how we can on. get out? So, Kurt, you're going to have issues like on your horse. How do we escape the scrapple, by the way? Yeah, what is the, uh, what is the system uh, here for that? Gonna, I, Escape action, I think. Yeah. Uh, nice. You Jenny. You Jenny. It's so fun knowing I, all the rules. How do I do escape? Oh, yeah. Book, book boy. Them. Pathfinder uh, 1E, oh, we knew like the back of the hand. Like it's everything. And 2E has introduced some very interesting concepts that we super have cool adopted. And, and super cool and a lot of simplification and some things very that enhanced. Very simplified. So. Yeah. Especially when it comes to a shambling mound that's grappling you. Shambler! Okay. Let's see. Normally it would be a CMD versus CMB. Choose a creature, object, spill effect, hazard, or other impediment imposing any of those conditions on you. Sounds like yep, a personal I choose issue. that guy. Uh, yep. Attempt to check using Very your unarmed issue. attack modifier <laughs> against the DC of the effect. Okay. This is typically the athletics DC of a creature grabbing you, the thievery DC of a creature who tied you up, or the spell DC for a spell effect, or the listed escape DC of an object, hazard, or other impediment. Wow. I love that Leaving Richmond has come in. Oh, you man, can man. use an acrobatics or athletics check instead of using your attack modifier if you choose. Grace. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to use acrobatics because it's a plus seven. Nice. Well, how, what's the action? How many actions is that? One? Uh, it is one action. Great. All right, so I'm going to try to escape this effer. Let's see if we can time this right. Ready? Ooh, that's oh, good. man. That was, that was exactly right on the good. roll. Yeah. Oh, God. That was great. 23. Nice. Really, twenty three, baby! Wow! Now is that good job, Uncle? Is that a is that a success? Is it a critical success or a critical failure? I think you just succeeded. Just the grapple. succeed. Okay. Yeah. You get free and remove the grabbed, immobilized, and restrained free. conditions imposed by your chosen target. Get off me, you, you dirty bush! All right, so you're free. <laughs> good job. And then your second action. No, no, I, that was it. Because I took the two actions right. to heal the horse, and my third action was to escape. Two actions to heal the horse. Uh, it, because I did, I did a range. Uh, I, I, did a, I did a more potent version of heal. Got it. Yep. Okay. What am I doing? I think your horse. Uh, he healed it. Yeah, but it went down first and slang on its side. So and it's now prone. you kind of, when it fell, you kind of messed up and you. I use one of my actions. You can use two actions. I can use two actions and I will cast charm on the monster. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. I like this. <laughs> All right. What does he have to, to well, save? Well, because we've attacked it, he gets a plus four, but my uh, DC for the will save is 20, so it's a 16 will save. That's okay, his, his will is incredible. Plus 14. Oh, what? God. Come what? on. That's impossible. Three. Ah. What was the save? 17. 16. Ah. Well, if, because we were attacking it, he gets a plus four. Damn. I'm okay. Damn it. It, was a, it was a good idea, though. I this like This guy's that major. Idea. Viv, you want to chop trees like nobody's business. I sure do. Do you My leave to go chop, chop trees? Chop that tree. <laughs> chop that tree. There is a tree next to you. You could just leave. You could escape Bridget, Bridget and go chop, chop a tree. tree. <laughs> I feel like that'd be a little bit. That That's Viv's mean. way. It might be more fun. Leave my friends battling this that's your shaggy way. bush, what have you. Timber. If Timber. anyone's counting, that's the third warning the DM has given us to run away. <laughs> just, just, just saying. Well, we're gonna Feel like like you guys like could just run away. away. Every time he says it, there'll be like a beep. You're out of time. Do that, something. That'll be in the super I, cut yeah, of the next sure. episode. Yeah, sure. I run away. Do, can I run? 
Sure, you yeah. can. You just, can just keep uh, yeah. running. Was she grappled? Was she grabbed? Mm -mm. Uh, no, because okay. I freed her last time. She was the first one to get free. Okay. So you yeah, you run. She wants to be free. Yeah. She runs. I will. I will run with my uh, shield up. Up the trail, I'm assuming. Lasso. Which one? Yeah, uh, the one with the cape. Without the cape, this one. With the cape, yeah. With, wait. With yeah, the cape. That, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So she's on a horse. What's the speed of horses? No horse. My horse is dead. Oops. Sorry. So what's your speed? <laughs> well, so <laughs> if you, I do know that you can step to get out of. Uh, that melee range and it won't trigger an attack of opportunity. Oh, he only can do an attack of opportunity if he has the feet. So she could probably run. Uh, uh, which we won't know until he murders her. Right. Right. So got she gets either 25 right. or 30 feet times two for, for dashing or striding. Or okay, whatever that's 25. Sure. And then one, two, Cruel. three, four, five. Random encounters. 50. <laughs> yeah, right about that. Fine. I'm guessing he does not have the feet then? It, Good. Kurt. It's yeah. you guys that are in front of it. It like slithers as it pulls in its vines for another attack. <laughs> you, Jenny, you're looking at it. Can we reason with it? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, okay, I'm going to how 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 beat you up don't detect evil. Normally, you'd have a drink and say this thing's evil. I'm going to kill it. Yeah, I'm not liking the circumstances. It's because I don't think it's how. F All right, I'm going to throw a second javelin at it, and then move while then I'm book thinking. ass out of there. Yeah, uh, that is going to be an unnatural twenty. You miss it. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's move along, move along, move along. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then... Moving his mic. 5, 10, <laughs> oh. Well, you know. Nice job. I'm trying to keep consistent. Run away, run away. Run away, run away. All right, I need to get away from this thing. I'm going to use my athletic, or I'm going to use first action doing an athletic check. That was perfect. Nice. That was a fumble. Oh. You slip on your own whatever. Oh, oh. awful. I, I, Jonathan, I'm going to leave this up to you. You're a DM too. So he tries to do this amazing thing, and what happens to him? Uh, uh, <laughs> put me on the spot here. He uh, stumbles in a way that the... That his weapon lodges itself into the exact center <laughs> of the beast and completely, uh, completely makes it unstable and falls into a, a heap of uh, a heap of dung. He Bill oh, Murray's it essentially. Yeah. <laughs> he fails Whoa. forward. He, right, it's, it's a it's an exquisite fumble. I think that's a rule in there, right? The exquisite fumble. He's fumbled so hard it's actually turned into an, a success. There you go. No, <laughs> and kills the beast. With no. a success. No? With one hit. I fumble my weapon, fall, oh. and the weapon stabs into the beast, exploding its guts all over. Right, the but thorns <laughs> lodge themselves into his face and eyes. <laughs> so, oh, so. so I'm disfigured for the rest of my life. No, I thought he meant yeah. the beast's eyes. Who's oh. the wizard? <laughs> okay, so I do think that... Sorry, was mine biased? I like Tom's... <laughs> you do fall, and the scrape that you take chunks away part of your beard and like, it will be permanent just a little scar about a half inch long on your beard it now, could be a lot worse wow it now, could be a lot worse to your parents you realize that having not a full beard is a huge deal for any dwarf not having a full beard yeah. i mean we're there you go we're yeah wow yeah wow not I, only an outcast now you're, as a child. Now you're down a beard, but now but, an outcast in life. If you if you lost it in combat, is that not like a more honorable thing than just not being able to grow a beard? No, we're not sure. If wow. It, if it, if it, our producers saying no. Turn it down. Dwarves are <laughs> dwarves have it rough. Man, I'm getting beat up by the producer. You tonight. are. Wait, let's play the Wizard <laughs> song. Wizard has a friend. I like that one. You guys like that? Somebody you sent know, that in. Well, she's probably a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Is that how it ends? Yeah, I know. That's really all it does. Sadly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. My guy Sadly, likes yeah. companionship. Oh, oh, the okay, so. <laughs> Started out so nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Well, I'm sure it started out nice for him too. It started out nice. I had a beard. All right, so it's a, so should we make a, should we make the wizard it's throne on the board star. here? Not that big of a deal. So I that think. being said, all right. So as I educate myself, because again, newbie to two E. So my action, my first action, I fumbled. I fell. Consequence. You have two more actions. Do I still get the two more actions? Yeah, you should still have the two actions. I think one of them is also to get up. Um, yeah, one will. You have to blow one to stand up if you want. Yep. Okay, yeah. I don't. I'm just gonna again use. Uh, or you can I, crawl five gonna, feet. Nope, I'm not gonna do that because I'm grappled, so I can't crawl away from. Are you it. grappled? Yeah. Still? yeah. Oh Jesus. I haven't got. That's why I try to use a athletic check. So I'm going to use the last of my drain familiar special abilities, and I'm going to use magic missiles. I don't like. The, I don't like that term, drain familiar. I know it sounds arcane kinda, bond. I'm using my arcane bond. Right. Well, it says no. Drain, drain, drain familiar. Drain familiar. Can cast yeah. again any previously Fumble. cast spell without spending a spell slot. Yeah. So here we go. I Done know, deal. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, you fumbled. Um. Three. Tom, you fumbled. Yeah, the turn's over. Well, I just. I just. Well, I thought he still had the two actions. I did my first action with. The, well, that's what I was asking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fumble. We we will make that if this is not a house rule. A fumble at the top of your round completes your round. Oh, that's Jeez. gnarly's! Wow. wow, and that goes for me too. That's all right. Everybody, remember Mike. that. Hey, listeners, yeah. remember that. If you hear Spencer taking right, and, and we're going out on that note, we're going to come back and see what happened to Tom. Top of the round. You guys are versing a shambling mount. Oh, my God. That was harsh. That was harsh. Should we have done that? I mean, it's done now. It's What's so, done is done. We'll see if we live the tell yeah. tale. Hopefully John. we'll be able to shamble away from this one. Jonathan. Huh. You keep trying to use the word shamble in a joke, and it's really not working. Really yeah. tough. I yeah. thought you were going to say, you keep about. using that word. I don't it's think just it not organic. <laughs> yes. Not organic. Spence, right. Thurman still has Lola, though. And Lola can oh, still cast, Lola. even though I fumbled. Lola should be able okay, to cast. Okay, do it. And all goes it. back to Lola. Lola Let's saves you I, I so think, many times. Right, she yeah. does. We're so gonna Lola, make that Shambler eat crow. Let's so hear. Ah. Lola Before we cast, go to break, let's see what Lola does. Lola what will is, cast magic missile. Okay. Come on, Lola. Walk like a woman, talk like a man. <laughs> so four plus one, uh, plus two force damage. So uh, six damage. Hey. Don't miss out. Press that subscribe button. Find us on Facebook and Instagram at Loaded Dice Rollers and at Gia McClouds.